Are you looking for the next craft beer to try? Well, maybe Hop Thing from Abomination Brewing Company is the one for you. back everybody so today we are going to try hop thing from abomination brewing company most of their beers that i've tried i think it's been like three or four uh have been good i think there was a stout like a a s'more stout that i didn't like from them i'm pretty sure it was um bedtime stories uh but their new england side has been good so this is a new england uh, style double dry hopped india pale ale 6.9 percent abv um, can art's pretty cool. Uh, hop thing, swamp thing is what they're going for. It's got like the swap thing guy, swamp thing guy with a beer in his hand. Uh, it doesn't say the hops or anything like that. I did pick this up at Hoffman Street Grocery. Not sure the price on it. Usually uh, they put the tags on here, but because this just came in, um, she didn't have a chance to put it on there. Um, a B H T one slash two A I is what's on it. I do know this is fresh as it just came out or it just got to the beer, my beer store. So let's go ahead and open it, get it into a glass, see what we think. I, uh, it didn't say roll or anything, so I didn't roll. Usually if Jessica does these with me, I think she pretty much rolls everything. So we'll talk about it, smell it, taste it. Then at the end, I'll swirl it up and pour it in there, see what we get out of it. Um, uh, eggshell white uh, head, small and medium bubbles, about a half a finger. Bubbles on the side are compact like dish soap. Color. Um, light, bright yellow, uh, hazy protein yeast floating in there. I can see some bubbles. Uh, it's clearer on the side. So I'm guessing this won't stay hazy for long. I cannot see through it. I cannot make out the light box at all through there. Um, looks the part for the most part. Uh, I would like it a little bit more bright yellow in color, but hey, take what you can get. Okay, let's smell. I am getting that fruit juice in there. I, I pick up a little hoppiness, like an over hop beer, obviously for a New England IPA, you're gonna put most of the hops, or let's say 80% of the hops, 90% of the hops in the dry hopping of it. And that's kind of what it smells like uh, if you've ever made a beer, uh, when you add those dry hops and after you bottle it and you smell in there, it's all those hops are mixed together that are still in there. Maybe a touch of citrus, but that fruit juice is what's coming through the most generic. I'm not picking up like a pineapple or a mango, anything like that. Just a generic fruit juice, hoppiness, uh, not bitter, and maybe some citrus in the back end of it. Let's go ahead and taste. Hmm. more citrus hoppiness like like a hop uh leaf in there not i'm really not picking up any fruit like a juicy fruit generic fruit until the aftertaste on this one to me the smell does not carry over to the taste it's more of a like a kind of a citrus hoppy pine that pine being real low a little bit of toasted bread in there but not much of a taste at all as far as a new england ipa uh, aftertaste uh like i said is kind of a little juicy fruit maybe some citrus maybe some pine there is some bitterness in there i can feel it in the back of my throat let's go ahead and shake the rest of this up and get it in there and see if it changes it. <clears throat> oh, there's our head. 
nice finger and a half of head there. <clears throat> color, yeah, it's more bright yellow in color, that orange juice color now. Smells the same. Maybe, nah. It's like that citrus, hoppy, kind of piney in the back taste stays, but I, 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 I am getting a touch more juicy fruit. Um, in the palate and in the aftertaste, it, it's like that all that stuff on the bottom once shaken up and is uh, floating in there is giving off more of a uh, fruit juice. Um, it just came to me, maybe it's like grapefruit, more grapefruit than anything in this beer. Yeah. Um, I would probably have to go with a 3.75 out of 5. It's good. New England style IPA. Uh, I don't... I, some people do like a little bitterness in their New England style IPAs. Uh, this seems like they added more pine hops, piney hops than anything. And it's kind of taken over instead of that, that those juicy fruit hops let's go ahead and check on tapped and see what's on there uh, 104 people checked it in average 3.7 out of 5 um so this is brewed with flaked oats flake and wheat obviously flaked oats uh could ha they're protein heavy so that's what uh actually makes it cloudy the more protein you can get in there you can keep it in suspension plus along with the wheat and the protein um that that really helps zappa hops uh i will have to go look those up uh citra and mosaic um i i don't i made uh the the five batches or the split batch with uh citra and amarillo in it um i'm not getting a flavor like that obviously they're they're using Mosaic and not Amarillo, but for the most part, I don't think so. Uh, big fan, very drinkable, nice NE IPA. Uh, uh, fruity, tropical, good no. Semi-dry finish. Yeah. For all these people checking it in, their scores are too pretty high. Here's somebody that gave it a 3.5. Yeah, I, I don't think that level of fruitiness like you would um, think about in a New England IPA. I know there's uh, juicy fruit, then there's big time citrus. Uh, this, this is like way over on the other side, uh, and the other two have fallen out. So uh, good beer, definitely one to pick up if you're looking for a new beer to try, but not the best they've done. So if you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. And until next time, happy brewing.